What's up guys? Have you seen these cool looking little LED panel lights hanging around in Lowe's or Home Depot or maybe on Amazon? I have, I tried it out, and I'm going to show you how to hook this thing up without having any electrical experience whatsoever. That's right, we're not splicing wires or doing anything like that, uh, but we're going to hook them up and I'm going to show you how right after this. Alright guys, we're checking out this LED panel light. Um, I've been doing a little research on it. I'm not much of an electrician here. I, uh, I don't really like to work with electricity so much, so I'm going to make this a much simpler installation. Uh, I need this uh, panel light. Uh, I like it, everything LED. I'm trying to change my whole house over to LED. Uh, I need this panel light for a room here in my basement. Uh, out in my storage room here and I thought this would fit the profile well uh, I didn't want to draw power off somewhere else because I'm not real experienced with that but I have a light bulb socket um, and I'm gonna just screw in a light bulb uh, adapter that has a uh, power cord in the side of it here so I can plug this in and then put the light bulb back in and then run this cord down to where I need it so uh, hopefully we're gonna keep this simple uh, I did some research. The polarity on this does not matter. They're both red cables. So uh, this uh, transformer, I believe it's called the transformer, takes care of all that. The uh, um, I did take a look at the instructions before. Not super useful. Um, they uh, refer to parts that actually aren't included. But um, it's a, such a simple product. You don't even re uh, need instructions. I probably researched it a little too much. Uh, just because I'm always concerned with safety and burning the house down and things, but um, so all we're really going to do here uh, Take this wire Hook it up to this one and use wire nuts just to keep it really easy and simple Okay, and of course one's a lot larger and thicker than the other, but hopefully it will work Okay, so you have them connected now I'm going to come around, uh, my outlet's actually behind the camera, so I'm going to go plug it in. The light looks like. Okay, so I've killed all the rest of the lights in the room, and you can see this is throwing off a nice, really nice glow to the rest of the, uh, the room here. You see, just I turn it around, and that's really lighting the place up quite nicely. So, um, nice, soft, I like the daylight. I could see myself getting into a few more of these, although I'll probably get some 24 by 24s because that's what kind of drop ceiling I have in my basement here. So overall, this uh, you can see this, the setup was really simple, really easy. Um, good product. All right, guys, so I'm down here in my storage room, and I promised you we wouldn't be splicing any wires, but I used to have some really dark areas down here in the basement uh, with all my Christmas decorations when I'm digging around. I have a hard time finding anything because I only have one little curly cue light right up there. So, how am I going to get electricity to the panel light without splicing anything? Let me show you. Secrets right here in this little screw in thing. It was like two bucks at uh, Lowe's. It's just a little adapter. I'm going to screw it into this light bulb, right? Un unscrew the light bulb, plug that in, and then stick it right in here. All right, so that was pretty easy. This is way above my head here, but all I'm going to do now, plug this thing in. You can see we got a little more light. That's because this thing's working now. So all I have to do now is mount this thing up where I want it. I actually might do, uh, put it on the wall instead of the ceiling um, because I, I need a little projection throwing uh, horizontally towards some of my stuff. But guys, this was so simple, so easy. I know this isn't the traditional method of hooking up something. I'm not an electrician by any means, but I was looking for some way to hook this thing up without splicing any wires. I found a way, sort of my hack. Maybe it cost me a little extra, but certainly saved me time, and I feel like this is a pretty safe solution on how to hang this thing up without having to splice dice and reroute wires with danger of burning the house down. So uh, hit me up in the comments with any questions or any feedback. Maybe somebody with some more experience in electrical can tell me why this isn't the best solution, but 
for me, with my limited ability, I think it is. And guys, if you're interested in this light, I dropped the link in the uh, comments below. And also, don't forget to follow The Deal Dork because I'll be coming at you weekly, if not more often, with product reviews and how-tos and uh, just about anything you want to know. Uh, if you have any recommendations about any products that you'd like to see, please hit me up, send me an email, Facebook, uh, Instagram, or Twitter. Let me know what you'd like to see, any questions, because I like to learn right alongside you and then present my findings to you.